With some of the days getting colder, this list is going to be perfect for us this morning. <laughs> there are some unusual phenomena that only occur in the coldest season of the year, which we're about to enter. So it's our list, some of these natural winter phenomena. First, the hail glacier. You know what a hail glacier is? Well, it's just rain that has frozen before or as it starts to shower down. If there's enough of it, the hail collects on the ground in these big icy mounds and in rare occurrences creates the icy drift that they call hail glaciers. Next, hoarfrost. It's similar to frost and gets its name from the old English meaning of old man's beard. It's kind of feathery like. Uh, the strangely beautiful effect is caused when moisture in the air turns into ice crystals that lightly coat an object, usually a plant. Hoarfrost is uncommon and as both the air and the object have to be at or around freezing. It's very pretty. The bomb cyclone or bombogenesis, the silly sounding term, occurs when the pressure of a storm drops 24 millibars in 24 hours or at the rate of one millibar per hour. A millibar is the measure of atmospheric pressure inside a storm, telling our meteorologists how strong or weak the storm system is. This is like our own little storm team academy here. <laughs> sure is. Six. Polar vortex, you've heard of that, right? This mm -hmm. surrounds the Earth's north and south poles in a big expanse of low pressure and cold air. And during the colder winter months, the polar vortex expands and sends that Arctic air hurling across the jet stream to the U.S. And lastly, frost flower. This isn't exactly a flower. When the water in the plant stems freezes, expands, and tiny cracks form, the water vapor hits the air and bits of ice form as it freezes. This is a, a process, that, uh, a continuous process, the flower-like structure you see. It's very gotcha. pretty.